Hello there, um, Mike Henderson here with um, another little uh, tip and trick for um, uh, typesetting your novel with Scribus. This has to do with page numbers. Um, one of the biggest problems I had using a word processor was the fact that some of the uh, pages had no header or footer, and some did, some had page numbers, and some didn't and uh, probably due to my ignorance as much as anything, but I had a very difficult time getting all that to fall into place. And I spent hours literally repaginating my document. Uh, Scribus makes it very easy. So let's look here. Uh, we have down here this tells you what page you're on and how many pages there are in your book. At the moment there's only 35. Uh, because that's all I've loaded in and I don't really want too much more than that for the purpose of this demonstration because it slows Scribus down. Alright, so look here, this is the uh, first page of the first chapter. And this is the first page after that, but this says page 12. Well, the question is what page should that be? And in my book I have parts, so I have part one. This page, if you look in a book, and see how they did things, if it has parts, they began the page count with the page that said part one. So that's page one. And page one here, and we're going to remember, keep this in mind because we're going to need this bit of information. Page one is page nine. The ninth page of this of this particular document as far as Scribus is concerned, but it's not the ninth page of our novel, technically the first page. Uh, so page two, page three, but here I have, I don't want a header or footer, and so in my case, uh, with the, when I have the page number at the top, no page number will be displayed. That's page three. That makes this page four. So this is not page twelve. So how do I change that? Well, we go to File, Document Setup, and up comes the Document Setup dialog box. We slide down to Sections, because we are creating sections for this thing. That's um, how they do it. It's how they do it in the word processor too, but I found it almost incomprehensible. This is much easier, and this is how you, you wish it worked in the word processor. You just have this chart that comes up, and you fill it in. So you give it a name. So this could be, you know, let's call it first page. Could call it anything you want. I want the numbers to be shown, so this box is checked. This is from to. This is from what page do you want to start to what page do you want to end. So you could go through your book and... Uh, have the, sometimes you see books where the front matter has small Roman numerals or something like that. Well, this is why we wanted to remember the 9, because we're beginning on page 9. We're going to the end, which in this case right now is 35. Style is the style of number. So I want regular numbers as opposed to small Roman numerals or large Roman numerals and so forth. I want it to be 1, 2, 3. And this start is the number you start with. So what I'm telling it to do is I'm going to start on page 9 with the number 1. If for some reason I wanted it something different, then you can enter it. So that's how we have it set up. And you can divide this up easily by putting, you know, if you had other uh, versions of other sections where the page numbering was different, uh, then you could do it, and, and as far as the novel goes, it begins on page one and goes to the end, and that's it. So that's all we have to worry about. I'm going to apply it to the novel, press OK, and if we scroll down, if with any luck, of course there's no page number here, uh, with any luck, it will now be page four, where it was um, before uh, page 12. And we go through, we go to the end. I'm not sure why that's dangling out there like that. There we go. 
Um, here's page 26 and then page 27, which is right because we have 35 pages altogether. Uh, and so this is, will always be 8 off from the total number of pages. It's also one way you can check to see whether your uh, document is paginating properly all the way through because this number should always be uh, the same number uh, fewer than this number. So this is the total number of pages, but we have front matter. So this should be, uh, and in this case we have 8 pages, so in this case this is uh, 35 minus 8, which is 27. All right, that's it. Uh, take it easy.